Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going? This is Watch. Hope you guys are all doing well. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you on how to vinyl wrap your computer case. Now, I'm basically using a vinyl wrap that's readily available on Amazon. There's a whole bunch of different design configurations. We're actually going to be using a carbon fiber vinyl wrap. And I'm going to be wrapping one of my favorite PC case in the market right now, the Corsair 780T. So if you're interested in seeing how this is done, stay tuned. And I'll show you everything you need to know about wrapping your PC. Now, some of you might be wondering, why on earth would you want to vinyl wrap your PC case in the first place? Well, there's a couple of advantages to vinyl wrapping your case. Firstly, unlike traditional paint, you can actually peel off the vinyl wrap and it won't damage your original paint scheme. Another advantage of wrapping your PC case is you get an amazing amount of variety of finishes with the vinyl wrap. Since vinyl wrapping has been around in the automotive industry for years and years, you have a very established market that gives you amazing amount of variety, thousands upon thousands of a different textures, finishes, colors, you name the finish that you like and chances are it's probably out there. Additionally, the prices are also quite competitive on these wraps. You can buy them in large rolls at fairly uh, decent prices on Amazon. Again, we'll have the links to everything you're gonna need in the description down below. Now, in terms of the installation process itself, it's pretty straightforward. You actually don't need any special tools, basically just some scissors, uh, an X-Acto knife, perhaps a heat gun like this to stretch the vinyl wrap over tricky areas the great thing about the wrap is that it becomes quite malleable once you apply a little bit of heat towards it. So a heat gun becomes quite valuable when you want to apply the wrap to a curved or concave surface, which I have quite a bit on our Corsair 780T. Additionally, another item that's quite useful, especially around uh, tricky curved edges where the adhesive backing on the vinyl wrap itself might not stick to it over time that well, especially with the inexpensive wrap that we've selected. It's a good idea to get a Prime 90 for 3M. This is basically a contact solution specifically for vinyl wrap. A lot of professionals use this to make the vinyl stick harder to the surface itself, uh, thus preventing any kind of peel over over a long period of time with temperature changes and things like that. And the last thing, of course, you're going to need is your vinyl wrap. And again, you're going to find a whole bunch of variety out there. I'm selecting a carbon fiber look, which is definitely going to make a uh, very unique looking 780T. Now, the first step is to examine the design of your PC case. Now, in some circumstances, you're going to have the opportunity to actually remove the surface panels. On uh, my particular case, the uh, 780T, on all the white pieces, you can actually remove separately. So I took some time to basically take all the stuff off that I didn't need on the case itself. So I can just work on individual pieces to make things a lot easier to work with. Again, uh, take a look at how your PC case is put together and go forward from there. But I would recommend that you work with smaller pieces to begin with, especially if you're not experienced with any kind of vinyl wrapping. Now, once you've prepped your case, you want to basically make sure that everything is clean. You can clean off the surface using some uh, alcohol or some water. Just make sure that there's no dirt or anything that's going to prevent the adhesion process from the vinyl wrap to the surface of your case. Now, what I did to install the vinyl wrap to my little panels, I just cut off uh, small sections of the vinyl wrap and applied them accordingly. And then you could trim off the edges. You basically want the wrap to be exposed to the outer surface. You don't really need to go all the way around your panels because nobody's going to really look at the inside of the panels in the first place. So don't waste your time with that. And in terms of installing the wrap onto the surface of your panels themselves, it's a fairly straightforward uh, job. It's a little bit frustrating at times, especially if you've never done it. There is certainly kind of a skill involved in wrapping. But uh, the good thing is with smaller sections like this, it is easier to wrap because you can just concentrate on one piece at a time rather than concentrating on a large piece. Again, larger pieces are a little bit more finicky than smaller pieces when it comes to vinyl wrapping but generally speaking it definitely takes uh, quite a bit of time this whole time lapse probably uh, is around uh, two and a half hours off and on so it's definitely not a fast process but the end result kind of speaks for itself now it's not perfect I'm not a masterful vinyl wrapper but I think in terms of getting that carbon fiber look that I wanted I think I've certainly achieved it and I'm pretty satisfied with the look of my new Corsair 7 ADT. And uh, definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you like the look of a vinyl wrapping opposed to painting? Or would you go with another solution like Plasti Dip? Definitely love to hear all your thoughts. And let me know if you've actually tried uh, wrapping your PC case or if you're planning to. Uh, love to hear all your comments in the comment section down below. And again, check out the Amazon uh, for all the detailed links of everything we talked about in this video. But other than that, guys, that's really it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you later. Take care.